it right now, you proles. How dare you fire up a bowl and accept your fate? Thousands of Michigan residents drove to the state capitol in Lansing to express their displeasure. They didn't hurt anyone while they were there. They did it peacefully, as is their enshrined right under the American Constitution. But Governor Whitmer didn't like this. In fact, she was outraged. If there's one thing Gretchen Whitmer doesn't care for, it's civil disobedience, especially when it's aimed at her. As Whitmer explained yesterday, complaining about her decisions could kill people. You know, when people are flying the Confederate flag and untold numbers who gassed up on the way here or grabbed a bite on the way home, we know that this rally endangered people. When you disagree with Gretchen Whitmer, you endanger the public. That's the new standard in Michigan. Debbie Dingell supports that standard. Dingell is a longtime GM lobbyist, a car lobbyist, who inherited her congressional seat from her husband, who in turn inherited it from his father. A Dingell has represented Michigan in the U.S. House of Representatives continuously for 88 years, since 1932. The family business is politics, but it's really a form of monarchy. So you won't be surprised to learn that Debbie Dingell is very popular socially in Washington. She shares with her neighbors there an undisguised loathing for the people of Michigan. She expressed that contempt this morning on NBC. What happened yesterday was inexcusable. People did not have masks. They did not have gloves. They did not distance themselves. They had Confederate flags, swastikas. They blocked an ambulance trying to get to a hospital, bringing hate and fear into a time that is already full of fear and anxiety, it's just unacceptable. There were people barehanded handing candy to children. What they did was to help spread this disease around the state more, most likely, not contribute to the mitigation, and it just made me sad. Oh, sad. Debbie Dingell is sad. She's sad that people are expressing inconvenient political beliefs when they should be drinking alone at home or obediently buying more state-sponsored lotto tickets. Why can't they hit Michigan's entirely essential weed stores and numb out as their benevolent leader Gretchen solidifies her control over their lives? Why do they have to complain all the time? Saying unapproved things is racist. It inspires fear and hate. Stop it right now, you proles. How dare you fire up a bowl and accept your fate?